Hello yours, welcome to my channel Knowledge Unlimited and in this video I am going to start a new concept that is synchronous counter analysis. So the question will be in this format. So the counter will be given initially and what you should do is he will ask simply find the sequence of states it is running. Find sequence of states it is going through. So these type of questions are more often in conventional exams where you can also see these type of exam questions in competitive exams also what he will simply do, simply do is he will give the sequence of states and in the place of giving the gate directly he will give some block like it is x then find the functionality of x then the options can be x or x nor and all these type of options will be given so there are different possible combinations of questions that can be framed by the examiner but you should be well prepared to any kind of question so the only thing to handle these type of questions is to know the concept so it is very simple you can see here the trick to solve these type of questions is reverse engineering which means till now so far we initially drawn the table and from that we designed the flip flop so now we are going to do in a reverse manner so first let me write the present state q1 q0 and now let me write the present inputs so the present inputs that is the inputs for my flip flops is d1 and d0 so now let me expect the next state what it can give that is q1 plus and q0 so you can see here instead of writing these two like this if you alter then it is nothing but the concept of counter design so this is very simple if once you are clear so let me go back to the diagram so you can see here d0 is nothing but q0 xor with q1 and d1 is nothing but q1 bar you can see these connections so i am going to write the same here d1 is nothing but q1 bar where d0 is q1 x0 with q0 so let me start with the present state assuming as 0 0 then if you do this this is q1 bar so it will be 1 and here q1 x0 with x0 with q0 so this will be 1 so my next state will be same that is 1 1 now the present state for the next clock cycle will become 1 1 now it will be 0 and it will be 1 so my next state will be 0 1 now my the pre now my present state will become again 0 1 so it will be q1 bar so it is 1 and this is 0 my next state will become 1 0 now if i take 1 0 here again now 1 bar 1 bar is 0 these two will be zeros and again it will go into 0 0 so after this again it is going to 0 0 state so now see the question is completed why because you can look here sorry I missed somewhere where I wrote so here I wrote here so let me get back here sorry for the interruption so here it is you can see here the question is given and from that we got the analysis and the sequence that is 1 1 if it is 0 0 then it is going to next state 1 1 from 1 1 it is going to 0 1 from 0 1 it is going to 1 0 again from 1 0 it is getting back to 0 0 so this will be your answer so as simple as that these questions are very very simple all the thing that you should do is for d1 you should write what are the possible input connection combinational circuit and for d0 also you should write and these conversions you should know if it is present state then for this input what can be the possible output as it is d flip flop you are writing same but instead of d he can also give you other type of flip flops like he might give jk or t or other flip flops then the inputs and changing from present input to the next state combination will be a bit uh, complex that, that means you should remember all the basics that I have told you so far that is uh, observations of characteristic tables and uh, excitation tables and truth tables are mandatory to attempt these type of questions so the concept is very simple but the way how quick you are at solving these is the only thing that matters you can solve more number of problems like this maybe I may explain one more question regarding this in my next video and then we are going to deal with asynchronous so hope you guys learned something new and that's all for this video see you in the next one